everybody, I am at the top of a mountain in Niigata. I am in Echigo Yuzawa. And recently, uh, I just, I don't know, I've been really, really stressed. Like day to day stresses of normal life and just my job stressing me out and just various things. And I just felt like I needed to be healed. I thought about what I could do and I realized what I really wanted to do was see the snow. And I googled somewhere cheap that I could get to by Shinkansen and I found out Niigata wasn't bad. So I booked just a one night stay in the Ryokan just like as a little solo trip for myself. This is my fantastic Shinkansen lunch. I actually squished this. It looked way better than this. And I just got kaisen don and a chocolate banana crepe and a coffee. Goodbye, Tokyo. Oh, it's so pretty. I can't believe it. It does sound like real. Well, they have onsen in the station. I'm not sure if you can see the steam coming off it, but that's like naturally heated water. It says, don't drink it. I might. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I did YouTube about this place a lot and there's a lot of fun things to eat in the station. I might go have a look around the station first. I really want to try some Niigata specific food. Hideous. So what we are looking for and what I saw that I really wanted to eat online is like this fish on a stick. It's not really something that's native only to Niigata. You can buy them at like Matsuri's and stuff, but I just really, really, I saw it and I really wanted to eat it. Oh, I think it's here. This, that's the one I want to eat. Hi. Woo. Yay! I really, really, really wanted to eat this. It's just covered in salt and some kind of herb. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, okay. This, this is fancy. This is making me really sleepy, not gonna lie. I like this little guy eating the onigiri. He's good. Okay, let's head outside. Whoa! It was supposed to snow today, but then the weather changed and now it's super sunny. But there is still so much snow. This is called Ashiyu and it's just hot water from underneath the ground and you can dip your feet in it. It's right outside the station. Oh, it looks so warm, but I, I don't think I want to put my feet in right now. Maybe on the way back. Oh, it's incredible. It's nothing but like little shops and big ski resorts. And of course, little ryokans. The snow is like piled up 10 foot tall, I'd say. Luckily, the roads are completely clear. This is quite a touristy area, so I imagine when I go out a little bit further into the sticks, the roads would be a lot more dangerous. 
someone built a snowman. But it doesn't have a face. So this is the ropeway. It was only like five minutes from the station. And I guess I'll take this and go all the way to the top of the mountain. Okay, I think it's this way to the actual ropeway. Oh, there's people snowboarding and skiing and stuff. Wow! Oh my god! This is incredible. Yeah, I'm already starting to slip. I'm glad I bought the snow boots. I bought this bag to put my shoes in and I didn't realize. I believe it says a bunny rabbit on it, but it says keep white. Oh. oh, it's really, really big. You can fit so many people in there. It's like a subway cart. Maybe I'll sit over here. This is amazing. Where, where I am now is kind of like the same distance as the clouds. You can just see that you can touch the clouds. It's incredible. I think that this is the restaurant I'm going to eat at today. There's two main restaurants here, but I checked the menu and this one looked pretty good. I was really surprised. On the Shinkansen from Tokyo Station, it was only an hour and 15 minutes to get here. And it's completely different. Jumping on the train and I went through this really, really long tunnel. And then all of a sudden it was like... Waking up in Narnia, it's honestly incredible. I didn't realize there would be this much snow. Like this is incredible. And it's actually started snowing again. I've never really taken a solo trip before. So this is a little bit of a challenge I wanted to do myself. I like taking trips with like my friends and partner and stuff like that. But it's really annoying to schedule everyone's um, days off. And I thought it would just be really nice to do this because I don't really want to go sn skiing or snowboarding, which is what people normally do when they come here. I just came here because I went to see snow. I went to relax and I maybe just want to sit in a cafe and drink a hot chocolate. I named him Wilson after the ball in Castaway because I too may go crazy from loneliness on this trip. Let's go get some lunch. I'm definitely going to slip and die on this. Okay. Oh, lucky. I got a nice table actually. Okay, so when I was back in Tokyo, I already saw this menu and I think I decided I'm going to get this pizza. It's just got like Italian ham on it. So yeah, I got the pizza I wanted with Italian ham on it and I got this like pickled salad. The pizza is actually really, really good. Um, hands a bit hit or miss with pizza, so I'm surprised that I found really good pizza up this random mountain, but it's actually great. I'm so happy. This is exactly what I wanted to do. Drink hot chocolate in a place like this. The snow makes everything so quiet. This is the kind of peace that I really wanted. I didn't want to be somewhere really, really isolated and, and alone, but I just wanted to be somewhere like peaceful. My outfit is super, super comfy. I'm wearing leg warmers, two pairs of socks, a sweater, two heat tags, um, and I'm really, really warm. I think I didn't have to go that hard because honestly, it's not that cold. I think it's only like three or four degrees. I was expecting it to be like minus one, so I'm incredibly warm. <laughs> All the lights are starting to come on now and it's really pretty. This is the real kind I'm staying at. It's called Taki no Yu, which I guess just means waterfall water. It's so cute. I didn't realize the outside was this cute. Oh, 
Oh my god, this room is so cool. It's very Japanese. I can't wait to lie on the tatami and fall asleep. Oh my god, the view! This is great. Not my uh, usual style, but it's cute. I like it. I like the kind of like sage green and toned down purple. It's really, really nice. It really fits the uh, aesthetic of the room. This is great. Um, it's a course meal and it's actually served in the room. So I don't have to look at anyone or talk to anyone. It's fantastic. I'm having umeshi with my meal and it's just like some little starters. There's sashimi. Um, chawamushi and some kind of soup. I feel like this is meat nabe and I guess they will cook that later. It comes with um, rice in the room. Okay, this is my first time having koshi hikari rice. Um, as I mentioned before, this is the rice that's famous in Niigata and it's supposed to be the best rice in the whole world or the whole of Japan anyways. And it smells so good. It was made on the table right in front of me it, it does smell good and i'm gonna be eating it with sashimi oh there's wasabi okay mm. it's so good because I'm a westerner like I don't know that much about rice I can tell good rice from bad rice but I wouldn't say I'm a connoisseur but this is incredible it's like so soft and fluffy it's kind of like risotto while I was eating my dinner they sent me up a little hudon and I'm honestly exhausted I think it's only like nine o'clock it honestly feels like 2 a.m. I'm exhausted I'm off my tits on the emoji I'm gonna have the best sleep I've ever had in my entire life Good night. <laughs> I went to bed super early, so I decided to wake up super early and try out the Ashiyu while there's no one here. I think it's like 5 a.m. The sun's starting to come up. Today's breakfast is carrot juice, different pickles, egg, um, like boiled vegetables, boiled vegetables and chicken, chawamushi which is made with egg and kochihikari rice which was so good yesterday and miso soup. This is quite a lot of food. The view is spectacular. Google Maps said near my hotel there is a waterfall and it might be frozen over and I think it could look kind of cool so I'm gonna see if I can find it because it's only like five minutes away what I'm worried about is it's all roads and no pavement so I'm worried I'm gonna get hit by a car but I'm being very careful okay so Google Maps says I have to go this way but it's like 10 foot of snow I see some people have made kind of like a pasta I'm gonna maybe try okay so I think that was the path I was supposed to take because that's, there is a waterfall there, but that's not the one I'm supposed to go to. I don't think I can get there. The, the snow's a little bit soft. Um, I think it was supposed to be over there towards the mountain, but I definitely can't get there. Like, I <laughs> I came this way, which I'm not, I'm not, I don't know if I'm supposed to come this way, because I fell in a deep hole full of snow, but I'm fine. And there's like a stream here. This is so dangerous. I'm going back now. Uh. Every time I come to a new place in Japan, I'm like, yeah, I could definitely live here. And I really feel like I could live somewhere where there's lots of snow. I checked out, so I'm going to go to the station, try to find some coffee. And I think I have like two hours left here, so I'll just uh, go have a look. I'm so full from breakfast, but they gave me like 
4,000 yen worth of vouchers to buy food. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Since I came to this station, I really wanted to have some coffee at this cafe. I saw this again when I was looking at stuff to do around here on YouTube and the croissants look very, very good. I got this croissant, which is a mix between a croissant and a pretzel. And here's a nut latte. It smells really, really good. Coffee's really, really good. Not hard to eat this. It smells really good. They warmed it up for me too. Um, it's good. It's not like sweet at all. It's really salty. It's like the flavor of a pretzel, but with a croissant texture. On Google Maps, I wanted to go to this shrine, but it doesn't look like it's even possible. And this is pretty deep too. I'm wearing this Lolita dress that my friend left me. It's really, really, really thick actually and quite fuzzy and very comfortable. Um, the shrine I can't get to because it's too snowy so I've just gone for a walk and I'm just walking around and honestly it's beautiful. There's mountains all around. There's not an awful lot here because it's mostly just like um, little hotels and ryokan for skiing. But everything is just incredibly beautiful. There's like little rivers, and there's a lot of roads, and there's not much pavement, so you have to be very, very careful, particularly as there's a lot of black ice. But yeah, I did not fall over one time yet, apart from when I fell in that snow hole, but that doesn't really count. This is the best snowman I've seen. Oh my god, 10 out of 10. Incredible. Honestly, most of the snowmen I've seen here have been pretty shit, but <gasps> he has children! Little baby one, also very cute. Me He's wearing his sweater scarf! Oh my god. I give, I give this snowman 3 out of 10 because it is terrifying. And it's like puked all over himself. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll eat here. The things that are most common around here, it seems like are soba and katsu. So let's try those. This is maitake. Soba. It's like a mushroom that's been tempered and just with hot soba. And this is rose pork katsu. I feel like I ordered way too much food, but I really wanted to try this. I saw this advertised a lot, so I think people eat this quite a lot here, particularly because it's such a warming, heavy food. I think it must be really good for winter places like this. This is really good. This is maybe the best katsu I've ever had. It's not really chewy at all, it's really soft. I might get this Kani Cola, so like crab, crab cola. There's carrot juice. I normally like buying the region specific sodas. I think I'm gonna get one of these. These are kind of cute, not gonna lie. If I was gonna buy Omega for myself, I would get these cat biscuits because these are super cute. And that was Echigo Yuzawa. Uh, I had such an incredible time on this little solo trip. I really think that I feel healed on some level and I got to think a lot about my life and what I'm going to do this year. I think this trip is really, really necessary and I think you should really treat yourself to little trips like this. Think yourself, especially out of the city, it's such a nice experience. The air is so much cleaner here, there's less people. It's honestly just a really healing experience. I didn't honestly stray that far from the station. I think I would like to come back. Next time I'll try somewhere else in Niigata because it's quite a big place and I didn't go to Niigata station yet. I think next time I will go to Niigata itself. But yeah, honestly, such a wonderful trip. Thank you so much for watching and as always, please subscribe.